what's up guys so today I'm going to be doing another play review and it's going to be second in form Varte now by looking at his in-game stats some are pretty impressive and some are really poor and as you guys know I don't really fucking go by player stats so in-game stats don't mean shit to me all I care about is how this guy plays in the game as you guys know from previous reviews player stats are useless so let's begin by talking about how does this guy play in game so I put this guy I bring him down onto the pitch first match something is very wrong no player is able to take the ball off him this guy is the most strongest player I've ever tried an ultimate team I'm literally talking about you guys know how you everyone says beast player beast this beast that this guy is a li literally he's an actual beast they can't take the ball off him because he is a beast he's not even a human being he's a machine he's a terminator I don't know what the fuck he is he's not a human so his long shots oh my god his long shots are just too damn good I this guy is only a silver player you have to take that into consideration this guy is only silver but he scored from half halfway lines everywhere I've scored so many long shots with him. You'll see in footage how no player is able to take the ball off him. Gold um, defenders, no one is able to mess with him. Now, other things that I really want to talk about is such as his dribbling, his curve. Now, in-game stats, it shows that his curve is good, but it actually ain't good. Trust me, guys, it, it, it really ain't. And also... Um, his free kicks are actually pretty damn good. I think I scored one or two. I can't remember, but you'll see footage of that also. But please concentrate on the footage that I show where the defenders can't get the ball off him. They try shoving him off. No fucking way. Because this guy's a machine. He is a machine. So let's begin again by disadvantages. Dribbling, he is disgusting at that. Like in a bad way, not even in a good way. He is pretty disgusting. Like you can't really dribble much with him. But then again, uh, I love his strength. I really, for me, strikers that have so much strength, I'd rather have them than those pacey weaklings. So let's talk about his pace. His pace is actually pretty poor as well. He he doesn't run very fast. He's actually pretty slow. So guys, um take that into consideration when you're buying him don't expect anyone fast because he's actually pretty slow okay also let's talk about his long shots I wanna talk more about that his long shots are one of the best long shots I have seen in the game guys you have to try them out for yourself I have scored nearly from everywhere every single place I mean seriously this guy is so damn good he's I'm actually gonna buy him for my silver team that's how good he is even though he doesn't link up with anyone I bring him down during the first minute so he has nine chemistry so you guys don't complain and yes this guy is a motherfucking beast so buy him because he is so damn good you guys need to check him out I don't know what else to say this guy is just too much too much strength on the ball too his, his heading is even good as well his heading is too good like if you guys play with very strong strikers try this guy try him please he it's, it shows he has around somewhere in the 80s strength wise in game stats I think he has like 500 I mean seriously the other bad thing is during like the second half of the match he starts to become pretty damn slow like become sort of useless so you're gonna have to start subbing him that is the only complaints I have with this guy curve is not good trust me it says his curve is good in game but it's not his um, pace is pretty slow his dribbling is pathetic and that is my complaints also he's very expensive guys but other than that, buy him now. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And as usual, let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next. And as usual, I hope you have a very nice day.